Hey, good afternoon, people. We're back in Singapore. Today is a ramen video. Initially, I want to film initially. Initially, I want to film initially. Initially, right, I want to film this as a normal, uh, just for Instagram and YouTube shorts and uh, TikTok video. But then, this, this place uh, is one of the, to me, is one of the top few ramen in Singapore. And a bit of disrespect if I just do short form. So this is why I want to do long form video. Okay, this place that I'm going to, you guys probably seen it in Adventure of the Day. It's called Inishi. Inishi. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to check it out later, okay? They serve, they are very famous for dandan dan noodle. Okay, every day, right? They only got 100 bowls. But anyway, we walk first. Uh, I'm very scared that 100 bowls run out. I need at least 30 bowls that kind of one. So later, the 100 bowls run out, I got it. It's, it's kind of like hidden, uh, okay? Inside International Plaza. Okay, International Plaza, this is, uh, is right at CBD, but this is a very, uh, obviously very old school kind of mall, okay? So, uh, I'm just gonna take you guys there. Level 2, okay? I've been here before. Tried their noodles, more incredible. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's right here. Okay, they, they, they went through a bit of like, uh, renovation a while back. Uh, so now they are up and ready already, okay? So, I think their bowl is quite big. Their bowl is quite big. So I think 20 bowls will be enough for me. So I'll probably, be eating like one fifth of their daily quota. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's very interesting. I don't know why they kept it to a hundred bowls only, you know. Okay, but this is what we'll be eating, huh? This thing right here. Inishi dandan noodle. Okay, they have this also, uh, they have the, the soil noodle also. So they only serve two types of ramen, which is a very good indicator of a good restaurant. A good restaurant doesn't need to serve a lot of stuff. They just need to serve like one or two items, and we are good. Okay, so I'm here for this. This one, I, I tried it, uh, not my personal preference. I prefer the dandan noodle. I'll talk a bit more about dandan noodle while we eat, uh, when the bowl is here. I got my black bowl today, which is gonna be painful though. But I hope I enjoy it, and I hope like, at least half of the journey is gonna be enjoyable. Let's go. Biggest bowl of dandan noodles. Oh my, oh my god, look at that. It's all noodles underneath, uh, guys. Okay, so this is it, uh, my giant bowl of dandan noodle. The weight wise, I think it's pretty similar to the one at Liu Lang Mian, okay? This one seems a bit denser for some reason. I think the sauce, right? Because they added like some sort of like peanut sauce or something, like it feels very rich, the sauce. The setting up uh, took a very long time. So I, I know it's gonna be very challenging already because the noodle is probably gonna be very, very uh, dry and coagulated already. But we'll see how, uh, we're still gonna bash through this. Uh, I'm gonna request for some broth actually. Uh, like, do you eat this dashi or broth? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. You will cut. Okay, okay. Come on, we're gonna mix it in properly first. They have some instructions on how you're supposed to mix this, mix this up. One. So you're supposed to mix it for like 30 seconds straight for a normal bowl of noodle. This is like 20 serving of noodle. So I, I, I probably have to mix like two minutes or something. But oh my god. Let's go. Sorry, this is it's gonna look like a mess now. Sick. Okay, first bite. Oh, look at how rich it is. Look at the richness. Look at how the sauce is saturating each and every, each and every noodle. This is a very complex bowl of noodle, I have to say. Uh, Taste-wise, right? Okay, it's definitely the Japanese variation of dandan noodle. The taste-wise is nothing similar to your Sichuan Chengdu style dandan noodle, which they drench it with chili oil. This one got a good amount of spice as well. 
but the taste wise kind of different from the Chinese version you taste a lot of that um, Japanese influence in there a lot of the you know you taste a lot of the smokiness coming from the pork and the meats and then um, it's definitely still a little bit numbing and a little bit spicy the spice level can adjust like, depending on like how spicy you guys want it I got medium okay I don't want to go crazy Many people have been saying, right, this ramen right, is actually one of the top in Singapore, like top three. I think in its variation, right, this kind of like brothless ramen, right, they might really be the top though. Very, very tasty, yeah, guys. So far, so good. Um, you get to taste a lot of components that you can't really taste in a typical, like, Chinese kind of uh, dandan noodle. I keep referring to the Chinese dandan noodle because that's the type of variation that I had. Uh. You get all these like pickle, like, all these pickles. These are clearly Japanese. You get cashew nuts, which I don't think they typically add cashew nuts into their noodles in Chengdu. You get a lot of crunch coming from the onions. That braised pork that they add though, so good. They, they, they sort of like, um, I don't know, they smoke it or like braise it to perfection. It's very, very smoky, super tender, very fatty. <laughs> oh my God. Chila is all at the bottom. Wow, this is a very, I don't know if comforting is the word, cozy, very cozy bowl of noodles. What is cozy? I don't know, but it just feels very warming. I mean, like you, you eat this and it will make you feel a lot better if you're having a bad day. But only. Only limited to 100 bowls a day. Eh. I wipe out at 20 serving a year. So, I don't know today that's how many. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, three types of spice you guys can choose from. If you guys cannot handle spice, I recommend you to get the best experience you get the mouth. Okay, if you guys can handle spice, get meat. If you guys are feeling like crazy, I think go to, go for the go for the like like at at uh, what, what do you call it the highest level of spice uh. yeah. uh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, they, they got like some vinegar at the side uh, for you to like um, add on to your noodle. I'm trying the kelp, sorry, kelp vinegar first, okay? I'm trying the kelp one first to sort of like try if it, if it helps with the taste. Mix it better or not. Okay, kelp vinegar, huh? Okay. Oh. It is good. Um, the vinegar is a little bit acidic, a little bit self-explanatory. I'm Captain Obvious. Okay, the vinegar. This this one is a little bit on the sweeter side. It definitely help cuts with the cuts off all that greasiness. Makes you want to eat more. Mm. Okay. Since I got a lot of noodle. Oh, this one is spicy one, spicy vinegar. I'm just gonna add sparingly uh, in case it adds more spice to it. 
Okay, spicy vinegar. Mm. Not really spicy. Um, it's, it's vinegary, but I can't quite taste the spice. I think the kelp vinegar is still, still the best for me. Eh. Mm. <laughs> so many new experiences. Oh. There's one more vinegar. I'm just gonna knock it off as well. This one got a slice of orange in there. I thought it's lemon. Eh. Okay, orange vinegar. Okay, let's try the orange vinegar. I see Google review, they say this one orange vinegar very nice. It's the most vinegary of all three. Uh, it's, it tastes like what? It tastes like the, when you eat acha, the tzap. Yeah. Yeah. No, it just tastes like... It's very zesty, uh, very zesty. Mm. It's refreshing. Uh. Now, I, now, I, now I can tell why people like them. Uh. Come on. <laughs> Kelp though, try. Uh. <laughs> oh, but when people numbing. Okay, the best for me now, okay, my favorite kelp. 100% kelp. Okay, I'm taking a noodle breakfast. The, the numbness is getting to me. Eh. I am a spice lot, but I'm not against numb. Like, I'm not immune to numb. Okay. Uh, I haven't really walked you guys through every single ingredient, right? That is onions, which is lovely. Uh, the, the purple pickles, very, very nice as well. Pickled radish. Uh, really love the addition of the cashew. And then um, the minced pork, the, the pieces of pork belly, and then uh, the egg and everything. Well, it just comes together very nicely. They are very serious when it comes to their blend, their blend of sauces that they add. They take pride in that, I can tell. Like, because just now when we're setting up, they, they very insist on like, I need to start immediately. Because if not, it will, you know, it will, it will feel very, uh, it, will, it, will look, it, will, it will not taste as good, lah, okay? And then, um, the blend uh, is more like a peanutty, sesame kind of blend. I could taste sesame components in there, like the ma jiang, you know? The noodles, right, is really holding up, like, their in integrity. It's very chewy. It's, it's kind of chewy noodle. Al dante, I mean, if you want to use the word, but it's kind of chewy noodle. Um, it's really holding up, and it's, it's retaining that, that texture, right, throughout the entire meal, which is very, very spectacular. Like, no. Which is very, very remarkable, because, uh, Usually after a while, noodle, the density of the noodle and the consistency of the noodle will change a lot. This one is still holding out, which is, like I say, very good. Top three ramen in Singapore. A lot of people say, I probably can agree. This might be the top few ramen in Singapore. Right? They will give you, okay, you can ask for dashi broth. Huh? This one, I think is dashi, I think. Yeah, it's a very light kind of broth. Uh, all you taste is a bit of that bonito in there. Uh, it, it definitely helps to cut, cut the greasiness. Huh? You take a few bites of this, you take a sip of the broth, it helps a lot. Ramen like restaurants from Japan when they come to Singapore, right? sometimes the flavor gets a bit watered down. It becomes like you know a bit off. This one is not uh, retaining all that flavor, uh, retaining all that uh, goodness. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% as compared to the ones in Japan uh, because I've never tried Inishi in Japan before, but uh, so far still very good. But ramen in Japan right is of a different league. Uh just for the info. 
you can you can go into any random restaurant and you will find a ramen that is very very edible. In Singapore, you anyhow go into a random restaurant, it's either it will blow your expectation or it's inedible. Mm. I'm actually quite. I kind of forgot how much they cost for one bowl. Eh? In Singapore, this one with finishing. Okay, but um. I know you guys are going to ask which is my favorite ramen in, in Singapore. Uh, ramen Ya. Ramen Ya is one of my top. This one is also one of my top. Top three, uh, okay. Ramen Ya, this one. And um, I want to say Brothers. Okay, Brothers Ramen, which is downstairs, I think. But then uh, I went to Japan, right? And then I tried the Jiro Ramen there. My One of my friends brought me there to the Jiro Ramen. He said Brothers Ramen. He said, oh, no, I said, I don't do comparison on this channel. Okay. Um, he said Brothers Ramen uh, is about 30 to 40% of Jiro standard. Went to Jiro, had the most mind-blowing bowl of ramen ever in my life. Okay, here's the footage. Just a quick little footage here. Okay, incredible, life-changing. But this one is also very good. Okay. Mm. This one after you finish the meal, right? and if you're like still not full, they can give you a bowl of like rice right? you can put inside and mix in with the residue of the sauce and then you eat it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that later, but we'll, we'll, we'll finish this one first. Huh? This is UI. Then you Oh, no joke, no joke guys. The, the amount of pork belly that they give. Firstly, it's generous. Second thing, uh, it's just so good. I, I can imagine eating this with rice, uh, like white rice. Uh. I'm not gonna do something stupid to add white rice now, but uh, I'm just telling you guys that you guys are more than welcome to add on white rice. Boom. <laughs> hey, I'm not sure you guys can see it. Still a lot of noodle. And every bite I take is like that one. I haven't taken a single sip of water yet. I'm just like working through. That shows that this noodle is very, indeed very tasty and it, it goes down. It goes down. For a bit more of that pickle to help me deal with the taste for dip. This is 10, 5%. Yeah, I like 5%. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a bit of rice. Uh, I'm not even fun. Uh. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Eat it, fun. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. Yeah. Okay, talk to the viewers. Right. Um, Usually they eat dandan noodles right, at the end they'll add a bit of rice to mix up everything. I'm gonna try it, I don't know if it's a good or bad idea. Still got room, so it should be okay. Do you think you're gonna be able to add the rice? Do I what? Do you think, do you think like, before that you get add the rice? Or you thought you couldn't do it? Um, previously I didn't want to do that. But. I don't know, it just feels like rice or noodle feels very odd to me. Hey, the rice is really helping. No, 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 no joke, no joke. The rice, for some odd reason, right? 
it is somehow it, it balances off the the noodle very nicely. Because not as like mm, anymore, mm. right? Shit, squeeze in the oil, bro. Mm, uh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Mmm. Good. Good. It looks great. Too. Surprisingly, it's not very coagulated or very gelat. Okay. It's actually very, very nice. Um, Highly, highly recommend in this year. You guys probably seen it from my previous video, the AOTD one. But today we came back. Uh, initially, just wanted to do like a short form content, but like I said, uh, this place is really that good. So we decided to shoot a long form as well. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, again, I'm at International Plaza, okay? Hope you guys enjoy this one. I will see you guys in the next video. The next country that we're going, Southern Jakarta or Hong Kong. But I will keep you guys updated. Okay, that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one.